First, open HideSQL. Enter in the server IP address or hostname. The default IP address is typically 10.7.0.1, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I will be using a hostname. Continue to type in the username and password. The username being root and password Jacques or lowercase. Click open or connect. Expand the state DB section on the left. Select device underscore state and choose the data tab in the main window. Here you will see a list of all the devices on the network. Using the menu on the left, navigate to the site config DB, then tag device. Identify the device with a static IP address which you would like to configure back to DHCP. Take note of the current IP address. Open PuTTY. Type in the server IP address or hostname and connect to the server. Then enter in the username root and password jacks or lowercase. As I am not talking to the gem device directly, I need to go through the ssh command. Type in the following. Type in the password Jacques. Press enter. We can now see that we are talking directly to the Gem3 device. Now to set the JCCP server to default. Type in the following. Press enter. Now to set the Gem3 for DHCP. Type in the following. Press enter. Open up HideSQL. Click Refresh. You will now see that the device is offline. Go to Tag Device. The U name is the descriptor in which the server will recognize the device by. The U value is the device's unique identification. Change the U name to Serial Gem and the U value to the device's serial number. Now restart the JCCP server application. Type in the server IP address into the address bar in an internet browser. Navigate to the Applications tab and click Restart. Go back to HideSQL and refresh the device state page. The device should be online with a different IP address.